hello welcome all welcome back to my channel today we have come back with another video which is to have an ftp server on arch linux system the ftp server or the daemon which we are going to use today is very secure ftp daemon that's the name uh, basically and the abbreviation of it or in short we call it vsftpd and there is a very nice article available on arch linux wiki you can just browse and um, follow the article and basically it works but uh, there are a few steps which can be tricky so let's see uh, for the installation we need to install this package which is available on our pacman uh, main user repository so i can just do pack sudo pacman minus s vs ftpd uh, enter my password and since i have already installed i will do that again yeah with that basic installation what you add uh, in addition you need to do is you need to create this file which is hchost.allow so i can show you the content of this file basically or uh, is anyway it's available over here so this is it uh, it's to allow all the connections with vsftpd and this is the ip address range which is going to access basically so it, it covers basically the local network IP range for your own home Wi-Fi, uh, so to say. Yeah. And then uh, we can go through its configuration, which is in respect to VSFTPD config. So let me take you to sudavim etcftpd conf. So let's go to the top of the file. Uh, I will just tell you the command. Uh, points where uh, or the lines which you need to enable the first one will be this one which is local enable equals to s so that user local users will be able to log in that's very much needed then you need to enable write enable equals to s yeah so that you are able to write to the ftp server if you want to create a new folder if you want to upload new things and so on and you also need to enable this local u mask that's it these are the three settings on top and then if i go down uh, probably it's an optional one but if you want to just change the welcome message i have changed it to welcome to prakash lemur ftp server all right coming down uh, this lis listen equals to s remains by default enable this is for ipv4 and if you want to use ipv6 you need to change this listen to no and enable this one uh, that is listen ipv6 to yes and uncomment this basically all right so with that taken care and this one by default comes as enabled so we don't touch that and this is the last pitch which i have added uh, which is to have an ftp uh, access basically with using an ftp command itself which comes uh, as part of init utils package maybe i can show you that as well all right let me go back uh, so if if you don't have uh, for example let me just uh, get rid of init utils if i don't have init utils installed then if i do this ftp then it would say uh, command not found so that that's why we need to have init utils so i would say yes i want to install this and once i have it installed since my ip address is basically this which is 192.168.1.92 uh sorry this one both, both both should work because that's an interface my machine is using so i would say ftp 192.168.1.1 once i enter that it since i am on my machine itself it says okay welcome to prakash lemur ftp server and it detects my username basically so either i can change i can uh, use different username to login but since it's already prakash i would hit enter and provide my password once uh, that password is authenticated the login went successful it says remote system type is unix and uh, using binary mode to transfer files basically and you can use all the commands which comes with ftp basically like you can just refer to this man page uh, you you can do get you can um, there are loads of options basically just to fetch the files yeah, you can list the files you can change directories and so on so let me kill this i can do ls and i'm able to list all the files on from my home directory uh, i can see i can go to different structure directories and then i can see all my videos and stuff yeah 
and then uh, once you are done with that you could just say bye and that will say goodbye and you will come out of uh, the ftp server basically and this uh, configuration can be done in any file manager or from uh, different machines in your home uh, so that you could use it as a file share so since i am on nautilus just for the demonstration sake i can just enter the ip address and hit ok it would ask me for the authentication and once i give me my username and password i should be able to connect and basically access the same files and the all the machines in your home network should be able to access these files here and it's very handy if you have a year using any smart devices or smart tv and you want to access all the downloaded movies to access on your smart devices or Kodi application, for example, it, it's really super handy. You just configure your FTP server and watch out all or consume your all multimedia stuff on one server. Yep. So I hope uh, this was useful to you. And if you f face any issue while doing this installation, just feel free to comment in the video. I would be happy to help, uh, although it's not that difficult. You just need to install two packages basically, or just one uh, to be sure. If you just want to uh, have a server, and if you don't want to use the FTP, then you can skip the inet utils package. All right, so thanks for watching and until next time, bye-bye.